PGA sports coverage of PGA Tour Golf brings us to South Carolina amidst the sprawling dunes and sandy vistas that comprise the ocean course at Kiowa Island. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner. Uh, Frank, this golf course is a challenge. Kiowa Island, what makes it so tricky? First and foremost, the weather. Uh, you could play two rounds of golf at Kiwa and you wouldn't think you were playing the same golf course. You play it on a still day, the course is relatively easy and a fun walk. You play it on a windy day and this is just flat out hard. And that will end up in the short grass. Left side, so a very nice drive there to kick off the round. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Yep, yeah, good work not to let that get away, and that's in for a par. Frank, looking out under that marsh, no doubt there are alligators roaming around. So it's a good time to remind our players that this is where they decide how much of that marsh they want to bite off with the tee shot here. Yeah, I don't really advise biting too much off, Rich. This is almost an S-shaped par five. Uh, I mean, there's a long run up down that right side. So basically anything in a straight line, a good tee shot, still going to be able to reach. This is well left. A long drive, but a bad line. Not wicked. Yeah, sensational shot here on and two on the par five. And Frank, a good look at Eagle. Well, you're exactly right, Rich. Two good shots into this par five and a chance to be more than well rewarded. And not quite on line and that'll drift a couple feet by. Okay, a little two-footer for Bernie, no problem. And that was well played. Now to the third hole, the par four is 390 yards. You're going to drive across the marsh. The fairway is expansive. Really the challenge here is that approach shot. It's a tabletop green. If you miss it, it will be a hard earned <coughs> four, I promise. And that will do just fine. Shouldn't be much in this for birdie. Now, that's in for birdie. That's for moves to two under par. Now to the fourth, 484 yards at the far east end of the course. Located in the fairway off the tee is the key, as you'll need to avoid a couple of deep bunkers right, as well as that waste area left. Do that, and you'll have a good look at the green as you gaze out toward the Atlantic. This starting toward the right side. Mm. 
Now that was 50-50 off the tee. Rough, fairway. I guess it was more than 50-50. Fairway's fine. I like the looks of this one. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Yes, a good look at that one. All the way in, it's a birdie. They push that score to three under for the round. Here we are now at the first par three on the course, 207-yard fifth. Massive green will entice you, but be careful. If you're on the wrong part of the putting surface, a two-putt will be a challenge. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And this is one where you just gotta keep the hand steady and the wrist quiet, making sure you get it started online. I'm just gonna sneak on by. Okay, that's finished off for a par. Pete Dye always felt that the best way to play this sixth hole, Frank, was right to left off the tee with the wind coming off your left shoulder. You agree with that? Is that the right way to go? Yeah, I, I still think you've got to hit it down that left side. One of Pete Dye's sort of uh, genius architectural traits is he forces you to aim what you think is in the right direction. And when you get down there, you realize it's too far to one side. Um, this looks like you should hit it down the right, but promise me, hit it down the right, you're going to be in the right. Second shot. Good look at the green. Now, ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. 10-foot putt left. Ah, yes. Well done. It's birdie to move to four under now on the day. Kiowa seventh is a par five measuring out at 579 yards. If he can take a drive over the edge of that right side bunker area, you'll have a good chance of getting on the green in two. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, it did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straight forward third shot. Generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Okay, good work from off the green, and that's how you walk away with a birdie here at the par five. On to the eighth hole now at 198 yards, par three. Like so many of the greens on this front side, if you don't land it just right, there's a hard slope around the edges, so having the distance dialed in here is a must. Okay, that one's dancing. 
We welcome in Iona Steven. This a putt for birdie. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of break in this overall. Distance very important. It might be one of those putts. Hit it firm, you take the break out altogether. No. Okay, that one cleaned up without any issue, and that is a par. Hole number nine here at the Ocean Course is a long par four at a robust 514 yards. Flat lies difficult to find anywhere from the rolling fairway to the undulating green. A four, that's a great way to finish out this front side. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there to have another wonderful tee shot. It's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. Oh, never in doubt. What a great putt that is. It's a birdie here at the ninth. Here we go, making the turn, par four, 10 tall, and Frank, what's in front of the player right now? I prefer to see this hole, Rich, as a, as a slight dog leg left to right. Then that way it takes out the temptation to mess around with that right side. Nothing wrong with hitting it a little left of center. The hole will still open up. I know I've got to hit it across the bunker, but there's nothing wrong with that. Beautiful tempo to that swing. This is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. Well, as an old baseball announcer once said, going, going, gone. Goodbye. Oh, would you expect anything less for the way things are going? Everything is dropping right now, even balls from off the green. Not much is straightforward here at the Ocean Course. This 11th is proof positive of that at a stout 593 yards. A handful of half-moon bunkers right are what to avoid on your tee shot, but even with a drive in the fairway, a couple of devilishly placed pop bunkers up near the hole have been known to give golfers fits. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, it did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Well, the birdies are coming fast and furious now. That is third in a row. Next up, the par 4 12th at 484 yards. The fairway here is one of the most generous on the course, but the closer you get to the hole, the more that lagoon and bunker start to make their presence felt. This one starting up that left side. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well.
That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. Now this for another birdie. One, this is to start the backside. Birdies at 10, 11, and now 12. The par 4 13th here at the Ocean Course is a beauty, demanding strategy off the tee. Challenging the canal running down the right side allows you to possibly shorten the hole. But playing away from the canal brings a cluster of pot bunkers into play left. Trying to curl this one back toward the fairway. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Did a beautiful round of golf uh, today. It's been a clinic with the irons, and well, oh, more evidence there. The swing, the strike. And look how close that is. You bet. Easy as can be. That's in for birdie. Part 314 here at the Ocean Course. Just gorgeous, but it is treacherous. You're exposed to the wind up there on the green, and you might need to hit. I don't know about lumber, but low iron at a minimum, Frank. This is a great hole. It certainly is. It can play as long as 240 yards, but it's one of those holes, too. If you, if you were aware of the fact that most of the field's going to play it in three and a half or four shots, you would take three every single day. Well, I'm going to tell you now, that's exactly what they do on this hole. Don't try and make it two. Take a three. You will gain on the field. Listen it. Frank, how hard is the up and down from this spot? Rich, the numbers don't lie. The best players in the world barely get it up and down 50% of the time from here. So that's the odds. Don't think they're stacked in your favor. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Sat down fairly quick as well. Good shot. Yeah, good concentration there. That's a distance where a putt could get away, but that, in for a par. On to the 15th, a par four at 466 yards. Plenty of room in the fairway off the tee, making this definitely a second shot hole. Because trust me, you do not want to miss left and find yourself in a waste area where you need a ladder to get in and out of. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Second shot forthcoming from the left side of this fairway. It's a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. Chance now for another birdie. And this is one you'd expect to make more often than not. Not too much undulation, maybe just a slight move to the right. Oh, that's lofty right there. A beautiful putt, and the result is a birdie. Normally, you look at par fives as definite scoring holes. You may want to think twice about that here at the 16th. It can oftentimes play longer than its listed 581 yards. The defining feature is the incredibly deep bunker left of the green. Anything down there is a bogey or worse waiting to happen. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. This par five green is well protected. That's two good shots, but that bunker's there for a reason. Now, with some nifty sand play, we're looking at four. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play.
surgeon's touch right there. Well done to run that in for a birdie. Now to one of the most famous holes in recent major championship golf, the 17th, the par three. And Frank, I don't want to plant seeds of doubt. But when I stare at this hole with the water, I'm thinking about disaster and calamity. It's all right there, isn't it? It's all happened here, Rich. Uh, this hole has a memory. Uh, the first time we ever saw it on TV was in the 1991 Ryder Cup. And it was the deciding hole. Um, so many of the best players in the world actually found water. For example, even just this finish. Remember Colin Montgomery playing Mark Kukovecchio? Colin Montgomery finished bogey, bogey, double bogey, bogey, and won all four holes. But this one, this one, you just try and survive. Oh, yes. That's in for a birdie. Well done. The S-shaped 18th at 505 yards, truly one of the great finishing holes in golf. Trouble lies right off the tee with dunes and bunkers there to penalize those trying to cut the angle and then left up near the green if you let that final approach wander offline. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. So job one is completed and done well. That was a good drive, but Frank, there is a lot of work ahead here on this second shot. Exactly right, Rich. After that tee shot, then you look at the second shot, what's up ahead, which is going to be another long approach shot to a green that, once again, does not sit straight in front of you. So you have to aim a little down that left side, just favor left of middle, and stripe it. Now this for another birdie. And break won't be a big worry, but speed will. This is going to pick up momentum as it works down the slope. Oh, yeah. Bottom of the barrel for birdie here at 18. And that final birdie means that this will be a round of 58. Incredible. So for Frank Nabilo and all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now.